the Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. How are you? Welcome to February. It is Thursday morning, first day of February. My name is Rich, and a little bit before 4 o'clock in the morning, we have cloud cover above and 44 degrees, so no bright moon this morning. My job over the next three minutes or, or less is to um, try to characterize all the twists and turns of the next 10 days, including four frontal systems, and uh, each front will bring some rain, plus sharp temperature drops behind every front. I'll show you which fronts are wetter than the others, plus we'll look deep into the month of February for any winter weather surprises, and here we go. On the early morning map, there's the next frontal system already into northern Arkansas, but we have a dry day with high pressure and control and relatively mild today. But by 6 o'clock tonight, the front has made it to a little north of Birmingham with a narrow band of showers along the front. In fact, look at this uh, future radar snapshot at 11 p.m. You see that narrow band of showers, which represents the front around Lake Martin and north of uh, uh, north of Montgomery at that hour. So I've got the rain chances small during the daytime hours today at 20% with mostly cloudy skies and a 50-50 chance tonight as the front moves through. Today's high is 63, tonight's low 42. Tomorrow morning, maybe a few lingering showers in southeast Alabama. I think that may be overdone, that map. Then a breezy, chilly day with a high temperature barely up to 51 Friday, but the winds will make it seem colder. Then a freeze on Saturday morning, maybe even upper 20s. Cool sunshine during the day Saturday, low to mid-50s. And then uh, here comes some more rain late Saturday night. This is actually Saturday midnight with the rain coming into West Alabama. And this is uh, noon on Saturday, 12 hours later. And you can see a wet Sunday, uh, just like we had uh, last Sunday. 6 p.m. Sunday, the front uh, is uh, out of the area and the showers are moving away. And then we get into that'll set the stage for another chilly Monday with high temperatures barely in the low 50s again after a cold start. So you see that pattern. And then Boy, oh boy, it doesn't take long for another front to approach. This is Tuesday noon. We're dry during the day Tuesday, but a very wet Tuesday night ahead. That looks like a pretty significant frontal system. And then uh, Wednesday morning, the front is exiting and the rain is exiting. And then we get into another chilly day. This first front may not have much rain with it at all. Maybe a tenth of an inch at best here in central Alabama. A little bit more in north Alabama, but not much. When you add up the, the next three fronts and the rainfall, you know, you could have inch to an inch and a half across central and south Alabama. A little heavier up in north Alabama. The brand new drought monitor map will come out later on this morning. We'll see if any of the recent rains have improved this situation with severe drought in some parts of our state. All right, so 51 the high tomorrow and breezy. Then that uh, freeze on Saturday morning followed by... Uh, the showers on Saturday night into Sunday, and then a chilly Monday and another freeze or close to it on Tuesday morning. So a lot of changes, and that's just uh, the next few days. Here's the next 10 days. This is the European showing the ups and downs in the temperatures and each of the fronts that moves through tonight and Sunday. It has the freeze on Saturday morning. It shows the warmest day around Tuesday. We'll, we'll look at that number in a minute. Another front on Tuesday night. It's got 71 on uh, next Tuesday. That would be nice, huh? And it's got a couple of freezes uh, Saturday morning, uh, probably uh, close to it on Tuesday morning, and then uh, later on next week. This is the GFS out uh, 10 days now. It shows a very raw Friday and a very raw next Thursday behind the two of the strongest fronts. And notice how we spike into the 60s some of those days. But through mid-February, cold air dominates much of the eastern U.S. and all the way down to just about the Gulf Coast. So uh, a lot of winter left to go. But spring, we're counting it down. 46 days now to the vernal equinox on March 21st. Come on, spring. Stay on top of all these uh, fast weather changes with our weather app. It's going to be your best friend over the next few days. I like the advanced interactive radar where you can zoom down to the neighborhood level. Plus, you can put on lightning and it's got push notifications for watches and warnings. Get it today in the app stores. Just search Rich Thomas Weather. So the month of February in this part of the world is a very interesting month. It is a month that uh, could involve some winter weather mischief. You know the kind I'm talking about. It's also a month where severe weather season begins, including the tornado threat. So we'll be watching that as well. We'll uh, stay on top of it all. Well, I'll be live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 with Greg J. Emily and... Um, Bailey the Wonder Dog, who is uh, also part of the show. And if you ever heard it, you can hear her interact from time to time. Uh, there will be that, another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. Attention groundhogs everywhere. You are to report to work. Uh, your one-year vacation is over. Report to work first thing tomorrow morning before dawn. Uh, if you cannot do this, contact your supervisor. 
I'll see you later. Have a good day. Rich Thomas Weather.